So having positive feedback on my last video regarding the clone build I'm currently using, I thought I'd bring you guys a guide on said build which allows you to be a lazy player, as clones are sort of work for you, hence a lazy Zane build. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video, if you do enjoy it leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Digiclone received a nasty buff which allows you to just destroy things. It makes it for the most part an action skill you can leave be and it mounts enemies where you go and do other things, it's that good. Now I've seen a couple of builds based on this new Digiclone and all seem equally great. But they are built up completely different to how I prefer to play the game. Now my current build is the Winter Soldier and I built this on the basis of being an all round build. I didn't want a build when I didn't have to change up going into certain aspects of the game, maybe besides the shield and maybe grenade. And I wanted the same thing for this build, I wanted to create something I didn't have to change up to do something else besides boss mounting and that's what I have built. A Zane build which uses all trees, keeping amazing damage output for Zane but at the same time brings the clone into play and allows the clone to be capable of much much more. Now I will state, I'm currently still playing on PC but I will be going back to Xbox soon. I am limited to what I can apply to this build but what's needed I will state. So keep an eye out for them. A few things that may be worth noting and remembering for future reference is weapons with anointments on don't seem to apply to the digital clone. So when the clone itself is using your currently equipped weapon, the anointments on said weapon don't affect the clone. So let's get into the build. And let's first off state, shield I believe you should yourself experiment with. As all you will achieve at changing this up will benefit your build. Old God would work I believe, but there are many, many out there you could try out and see what you think. And also class mod, I myself haven't had a scene dead with the action skill damage on but this is what you want for this build. This will increase that Digiclone's damage by 30 plus percent alone. So yeah, definitely look for a scene dead with the action skill damage on it. So the footage you're seeing in the background now is with the scene dead class mod so it don't be even crazier. The action skill damage addition was recently added so keep an eye out for that people. Other suggestions here on the Seeing Dead class mod, I'd look for direct buffs to you as Zane and what loadout you're going with. And depending on weapon you're using, obviously you can buff weapons, you can buff so much more. So just keep an eye out for things you think will benefit the build. Grenade for me, the It's Piss is the one to go for. An artifact, Snowdrift for me is always where it's at. Victory Rush is a great bet. But in all honesty, this depends on you and your playstyle. There are many many artifacts that can indeed help this build out, but to tell the truth none in particular are required. And with my builds I do like to leave the option out there for you guys to indeed add your own little touches too. So shield and artifact I mean you guys have seen what's in use here with my build and how it performs for me. So you can go with what I have if you want or you can mix it up with your own shield and artifact that's completely up to you. So weapons obviously we are basing this on the Digiclone but at the same time not limited to as we are also using the barrier at the same time. So anointments on weapons are really only going to benefit you as a player as Zane and don't in any way shape or form affect Digiclone's damage output. So switching places with Digiclone gives you 130% extra damage for a short time is absolutely amazing because remember if you are running places like the raid, slaughter shaft and so forth the Digiclone can only move about via you switching places with it so every time you switch places with it you get amazing extra damage. So that, that this is the best anointment for this build in my opinion. So let's actually get onto the build and we're going to start with the Digiclone itself as it's the first action skill we use here. So you want 5 into synchronicity for obvious reasons. 3 points into Premunitas and 2 points into Borrowed Time. 5 points into Donnybrook while we're here too. Now I don't feel I need to at this stage in the game give you guys reasons for certain skill usages unless used specifically for other reasons than damage. This one, pure damage. We then have 4 points into Duct Tape Mud. Now this is to trigger the anointment on its piss and at the same time it's unique ability as with this setup we use both action skills so we won't be throwing grenades. We then have quick breather selected and this comes in handy for sure. Stupid handy. 
We then have one point into pocket full of grenades. This is a must in regenerating grenades as you're using that boom enhance. Those grenades quickly deplete, so we need a way in regenerating them. One here though does just fine. We then have three points into supersonic man. Remember this is built for all around usage. So yeah, we are making the digital as powerful as possible using the three trees, but at the same time, we want Zane to be equally as powerful. So if you choose to, you can lay down damage at the same time. And we obviously then people use Boom Enhance, which just helps absolutely tremendously and truly optimizes damage output for that clone. And finally, on the Digiclone skill tree, we have Double Barrel. This, when the clone is obviously spawned in, will spawn in with a copy of Zane's currently equipped weapon, which is super important for damage output, so keep this in mind. Obviously, the better the weapon, the more damage a weapon offers, like the OPQ system uh, and other weapons I discussed at the end of the video, which are more efficient with the Digiclone. This is super important, like I said, for damage output for the Digiclone. So this is a must, obviously, on this build. Digiclone is used in action skill slot 1, like I said, with the arguments of binary system and this here. Now I won't even begin to pretend how this is pronounced. Okay, so on to the barrier, which we use for action skill slot 2. 5 points into adrenaline and 5 points into brain freeze, and competent competence selected at the same time. Arguments we use here are nanites or some shite and all rounder. So on to the third tree of sentinel. This tree mainly is in use to buff Zane as a player, as you play. So 5 points into violent speed and 5 points into violent momentum. Speed equals damage people. 1 point into salvation which is more than enough as when you play them higher mayhem levels. A couple of bullets deal way more than enough damage to regen your health. 3 points into cool hand which gives you extra reload speed with death follows close selected. 2 points into violent violence and 3 points into playing dirty. We finally good misfortune selected with one point here, which when paired with the scene dead class mod, you plus the Digiclone shooting is more than enough to keep those action skills going, while damage output is needed. Now like I said with this build, it's meant for all round usage, but at the same time, you can be lazy in those boss fights, as the damage output the clone does is more than enough for you to take a back seat and just watch the fun. Hence why I called it the Lazy Zane build. It allows you to indeed be lazy for sure. Weapons besides anointments I spoke about, obviously not everything is super efficient with a clone. So here it's up to you to test the millions on offer from the loot pool. Obviously the usual crazy powerful weapons will be fine. But if I'm honest, currently on PC, I don't have access to my Xbox stash. So I might do an update video on what weapons work best with this build. In Eclipse you are seeing now where everything's being mounted. The beacon, the OPQ system, the complex route, all mounts everything. But there are hundreds more to play with people and test with this build. So yeah guys, I do hope people out there looking for a decent digital clone build enjoy this. It is an absolutely crazy powerful build now and I'm so glad Gearbox buffed that Digiclone. It makes for experimenting a whole heap more fun. Also guys, if you are new to Borderlands and you do want to join a great community where people trade uh, whatever you want or platforms, do join my Discord linked within the video description. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you do enjoy the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.
That was all me.